Today I am going to tell you about a mythical Japanese creature known as Bakakudra. The name Bakakudra means ghost whale. Bakakudra are animated whale skeletons that rise to the sea surface and they need to breathe, just like they would when alive. They are accompanied by a swarm of birds and fish. Bakakudra are said to appear during rainy nights near coastal whaling villages. In ancient times, there used to be a lot of whales in the sea. A whale sighting used to be a boon for the villagers of poor villages in the Sea of Japan. Whales would occasionally wash up on the shore of villages. Fishermen used harpoons to kill the whales that were stuck in the shallows, a tactic known as passive whaling. A single whale's meat and oil could provide an entire village with lots of money. However, a boon always comes with a cost. Many fishermen believed that the whale's souls lived on as Bakakudra, seeking vengeance on the humans who killed them. Anyone who saw a Bakakudra got infected with a dreadful curse, which they carried back to their villages when they returned. Famine, illness, and other natural disasters were brought about by the whale's curse. There have been some sightings of these mythical creatures in the sea by some fishermen. According to a legend told by some Japanese fishermen, some fishermen on the Shermain Peninsula saw a big white shape off the shore of the Sea of Japan on a rainy night many years ago. It appeared to them, squinting their eyes, to be a whale swimming offshore. They roused the locals, who armed themselves with spears and harpoons and set out on their boats to hunt down and catch their prey. They got close to the whale, but no matter how many weapons they threw, none of them hit the target. They realized why when they looked closer, through the murky, rain-splattered water's surface, what they believed to be a white whale was actually a massive skeleton swimming in the sea, with no flesh on its entire body. At that time, the sea swarmed with a variety of bizarre fish that no one had ever seen before, and the sky was covered with creepy birds that no one recognized and had never seen before. The ghost whale then abruptly headed out to sea and vanished into the tide, carrying with it all the unusual fish and birds, never to be seen again. The scared villagers returned home, believing that the skeletal whale was a Bakakudra, a whale's ghost who had gone furious. While the ghost whale was never seen again, neighboring Shermain villages suffered from the whale's curse, with conflagrations and contagious diseases as a result of whale beachings. There is one other known story told by Mizuki Shigeru, a manga artist. In the 1950s, he was working on a Kamashibai story about the Bakakudra in the name of Kujaragami, which translates to whale god. According to the story, a man ate a lot of whale meat, and gradually transformed into Daikeju, a bipedal giant whale with hairs reaching 200 meters in height. Soon Mizuki developed a severe fever that only subsided after he stopped working on the story. He called it, Curse of the Bakakudra. Since then, there have been many stories of local fishermen about the sighting of Bakakudra. What do you think about this mighty Japanese mythical creature? Let me know your thoughts about the Bakakudra. If you want to get more such videos on history and mythology, then you can subscribe to the channel.